uh, it's Mrs. Ackerman, and I'm going to show you how to format your Google Docs the way that I want them for your personal narrative. This is going to help you learn how to format papers for middle school, high school, at college, and beyond. Um, we're just going to kind of get started with um, doing uh, some formatting for papers. So. What I want you guys to do is you're going to go into your Google Drive, okay? Um, and maybe you already have um, part of your paper written, or you maybe you haven't written it at all. Um, when you open up Google Drive, maybe you have folders stored. I have a ton of folders, as you can see, or maybe you don't have any folders yet. But um, you're going to open. You're going to um, just create a document. Um, I'll show you, I'll do a tutorial later about creating folders and things like that, but for now you're just going to create a document and to do that you're going to click New and then you're going to click Google Docs, okay? You can also create a document inside of Google Docs. You can just open that app on your iPad and that works fine too. But right now I'm showing you this from my MacBook so it might look a little different than your iPad but it's the same principle. So I'm going to create a new Google Docs. Now, this is the document that I'm going to be typing my final copy of my paper in, okay? The first thing I want to do is I want to give this document a name. So where I go to give the document a name is up here in the top left corner of my document. And I'm going to name my paper something very specific, and I want you all to follow this way to name your paper exactly. So I'm going to use my last name, for, that's the first thing that I'm going to put on my assignment, and then I'm going to call it personal narrative. That way, for the rest of my life, I'm going to know that this document here, when I open up Google Drive, that is my personal narrative. You put your name on your paper for your teacher's sake. That helps your teacher know whose file that is if she's looking in a whole folder full of documents, okay? So very considerate of you to... Um, name your paper that way and that's how I'm going to require that it to be. Okay now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna still also write our name on our paper here at the top okay so I'm gonna write my name Sarah Ackerman and I'm also gonna write today's date so today is Wednesday September 9th 2015 okay now this all looks really great so far okay um, and now I'm going to give my, my paper a title. Now, you'll notice I hit enter and then I hit enter again. And that was so that I could skip down a couple lines to put my title in. Now, I'm going to change the where my title goes. Instead of having my title cursor be over here, I'm going to change it so it's my title, title centered. So to do that, I come over to this area. See right here, this shows that I'm left in a left alignment, left align. Well, for the title, I want to center align, okay? So I'm going to click that center button, and I'm going to give my paper a title. And my paper is going to be titled, Hair Dye Disaster, okay, with an exclamation point to make it very exciting. Okay, now I'm going to hit enter again. And then I'm going to hit enter again. And now I need to move my alignment back over to the left. Now everything here is going great. I My paper looks good. I'm about ready to start typing. But there's a few things we need to do to format our paper properly, even from here. And the first thing is that we need to change the font. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of my text that I have so far. See how everything is highlighted there? And I'm going to come up to this area. This is where I have different fonts. And I'm going to find the font that's called Times New Roman. Guys, I'm going to have you type basically everything you do for me in class in Times New Roman. Why? Because it's a nice, clean font. It does. It's easy to read. It doesn't waste a lot of paper when we have to print things out, like it's not overly huge or anything. So Times New Roman. Other thing we're going to do is we're going to change the size of the font. Um, because uh, Google Docs automatically defaults the size to this 11-point font, 
Well, we want to make it 12 point font. That 12 points font is your standard size for all of your documents you're going to be writing in middle school and high school and beyond, okay? So 12 point font. Now, there's one other thing that I want to do to um, just make this look very professional and also to make it really easy to read. And we're going to do something called double spacing. Now here's the thing about double spacing. That doesn't mean that you press enter every time you get done with a line of typing to add an extra space. You actually format your paper specifically with a double spacing option. Now I'm looking around up here on my bar and I don't see anything that says anything about double spacing or looks right. So I'm going to click this more button and see if that helps me. Hmm, nope, I don't see anything there. So I'm going to come back, I'm going to come over here and I see this thing here. This I'm going to look at that. Nope, that's not going to do it. Hmm. So now I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to look and see if there's an option up here that might help me. Hmm, there's file. I don't think that's it. Edit, view, insert, format. Hey, wait, format? That sounds like formatting my paper and that's what I'm trying to do, right? So I'm going to make sure I've got all my text highlighted. I'm going to click format. Oh, and I look down. Hey, there's something called line spacing. And it gives me several options. There's single, 1.15, 1.5, and double. That's what I need. I'm going to click double. Now my paper is double space. I'm ready to go. There's one more formatting thing I want to point out to you guys. Whenever you start a new paragraph, the first line gets indented. So I'm going to kind of show you some typing here. And then I want you to follow along with how that looks. And I'll show you what I mean by indenting. Okay, so the first line of my paper goes like this. In the winter of 2010, a play was being set uh, for performance by a ragtag group of actors and led by a stressed out director. Ooh, that sounds exciting. The director I speak of was dun, 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 me. Okay, so I'm not completely done with my introduction paragraph, but I'm going to go ahead and do this indenting thing I was talking about, okay? So do you guys see over here where each line is aligned over to the left? Well, at the beginning of each paragraph, I want that first line, the first line only, to be indented. And to do that, I just hit the tab button once. So you hit the tab button once on your keyboard with your cursor there in place. Oh, look what happened. Pretty. Hit the backspace button. Let's do it again. It's indented now. Now, let's pretend that I got to the end of this paragraph and was ready to go for the second paragraph. It knows when I hit enter now to make the next one indented. If it didn't, I just hit tab again for that line. Now, again, we're not going to hit tab for every single line. It's just the first sentence in each paragraph. So this was my tutorial on how to set up your paper just the way I want them. You can refer back to this again and again as you write papers. And at a later date, we'll talk about creating bibliographies and all sorts of other cool stuff that you can do to your papers, like inserting photos, stuff like that, okay? Thanks, guys.